Hey guys, how I removed my copper IUD. So totally possible. I know that if you live in America, it's so expensive to remove an IUD at the doctor's. I heard it's like two or three hundred dollars. What? I live in Canada, it's free, I could have done it, but I honestly just didn't wanna I live in a rural town and I would have had to travel like five hours to a different town and get this to get this whole thing done. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it myself. Okay. I am not a doctor. I am not giving you medical advice. Please consult your doctor if you have any questions. This is simply my story and my experience of how I removed my own IUD. Here's what it looks like. Um, yeah, okay, so this part, this wire part sits like in your cervix kind of, and then it goes up into your uterus and these two like flappy things sit in your uterus. And then the string is what comes out of your cervix. You could feel it, you could feel the tips of these when you like jam your fingers up your vagina. You could probably, actually I could probably feel like it's probably sticking out like this much, probably that much. See that? Hey guys, check out my swatches. Check out my IUG strings. Okay, so yeah, that's literally what sat in my body for a month. This is what I did to remove my IUD, okay? I waited till I was like on my period because when you're on your period your cervix is softer so there's less resistance that your cervix is going to um, push on these when you're pulling it out and then you have to like masturbate you have to have an orgasm or masturbate or have sex have an orgasm because it will open your cervix up so it'll be nice and soft and it'll be like open and that's a really good way to um, you know prep yourself for this procedure <laughs> And, and then what I did is I, um, okay, so you have to like squat down, like if you know how to already feel for your strings, you have to squat down and you have to obviously find your strings, okay, so figure out how to find your strings, you really have to like do some exploration up there, f like go as deep as you can and then you'll be able to feel your, your cervix and feel these like strings. If it's too slimy, I would wash it out, right, try to get the slime out of there. Okay, so then find your strings, and then I got a hold of them, like this in my vagina. So I was pulling on one like this, because you won't really be able to get your thumb up there, but you have it between your index and middle finger, and then I tugged it, I kept tugging that as much as I could, and then by the time I got my thumb around it, it was already out of my vagina, like it was basically out. So. I basically pulled it out by doing this and there was no pain for me I didn't feel any pain like it didn't feel like anything nothing I didn't feel anything I just just um, felt the strings on my finger and it was as simple as that and it was out and here's the crazy part an hour after I took this out my cramps were gone I had no more cramps an hour after I took this out, my cramps disappeared forever. They were gone forever, hopefully forever, right? I was kind of like spotty when I pulled this out, but when I pulled this out, like two days later, I had the heaviest period ever. It was like nasty. I went through like four tampons in one day, and for me, that's a lot. Usually I, can, I go through like one tampon a day. I don't bleed a lot, like normally, and that was a lot for me. I would like soak a tampon in like three hours and that was a lot and I was like, this is nasty. And I had like, not to be graphic, but there were like clumps and stuff. So I, this stuff really like Fs with, it really effed with my uterus a lot. And I'm just, I feel so much better that it's gone. My partner's so happy that it's gone too. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I removed it. And I thought that I would share it with you guys. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next. Bye!